Because our natural tendency, our natural tendency is to focus on what's wrong. It goes back to the 60 to 90,000 thoughts. And I can be just as guilty of this. With my real estate business, I talk to my property managers once a month. They send me reports. And my focus is what we would typically do. I'm not taking a look at what's been collected. I'm not taking a look at the good stuff. I'm taking a look at who didn't pay the rent. What big expenses came up that I didn't expect? And that's what I'm talking with them about. And I realize, if you've ever been a property manager, it's tough. It's hard work. And I needed to celebrate their wins with them. I talked to one of my property managers about this, and I said, I want to make sure we start celebrating the wins. Talk about the things you're proud of, the accomplishments you had, the things I'm not going to know. He was so excited, I had an email back in 20 minutes with this whole list of things about every property and all the things he was proud of accomplishing. And he was so excited we were adding this to what we do. When I have done this well, for example, I had a health and wellness business, and I ran the sales side, and my partner ran the operations side, is each week in our meetings, I would ask the salespeople, share something you are proud of. Share something you are proud of that I'm not going to know about. A customer that complimented you. A new product you got in somewhere you've been trying to do for a long period of time. But share what you're proud of. On a quarterly basis, we would go out. And we would celebrate. We'd celebrate the wins. We'd go have cocktails, enough to be more open but not inebriated, and have some appetizers. And hang out together and make sure we celebrated those wins. So what I'm going to ask you to do for just a moment is could I have everybody stand up? Okay, now we're doing jumping jacks. I'm just kidding. Don't do jumping jacks, please. I'd like you to think about this past year for you and the things that you've accomplished and the wins that you have had, the wins that you are proud of, whether it's personal wins, wins for the people you're, you support, wins for your students. And what I'd like you to do, because you've all learned that we don't do this enough, would you give yourself a standing ovation for what you've done?